Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. Whew, I got this one and two more to do. All right, so this is all about the Carmen Air. <clears throat> or maybe I'll use this, the Keep Calm and Carry On. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's weird. This says all $12, but yet the cover letter says differently. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'll go by what this says. <laughs> Did I actually do it in the order I was going to? No, but that's okay. We'll just do it in this order. I chose that order. All right. Um, so my good friend Kate over at Creative Palette. Yes, more Creative Palette wine. I think this is the last Creative Palette episode for a little while. Uh, then the rest is going to be Texas wine. Uh, she sent me some more wine. And this was all sent to me. Uh, this was in October. So I'm really far behind on this. Um... Anyway, three Carmen Airs. Now, I like Carmen Air, especially from Chile. And we've got, um, these are all Chilean, if I remember correctly. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Uh, expressions of Carmen Air. And why do I like that? Because Carmen Air is known to have uh, one of my favorite aromas and flavors in wine, which is pyrazine, also known as green bell pepper or jalapeno or something along those lines. Um, so I'm excited to try these and hopefully they will have an appropriate amount. Uh, they don't have to be like over the top, but hopefully an appropriate amount. Um, and various price points. So we're gonna start with the first one here, the Castilleto, uh, Castilleto del Diablo Reserva Carmen Air from Chile, uh, 2015. Suggested retail price is eleven dollars boom i don't think i've ever done this many wines in one sitting ever but i gotta have some in the can before yeah though i may do try to do a few more here this is all done the same day. This is the, uh, well, now it's technically the 10th of May, but started the 9th of May. Uh, I may do a few more before June, just so I have even more while I'm recovering to put out. Because I don't know how long I can't, like, drink alcohol, let alone taste it. Um, if you want to know more, episode four or two, <clears throat> and then donate. It's there, pyrazine, all right. So, um, I'm just checking everything real quick. So it's right there, yeah, you got you got the bell pepper. Um, got a bit of um, raspberry, not quite cherry, but like some like ripe red fruit. Fresh earth. Touch of strawberry too, that's what it was. Like strawberry. Hmm. Touch of vanilla. All right, starting off good. I'm liking it. So, piercing definitely is it's driven with piercing, but it's not or bell pepper, but it's not like over the top, like in your face, like they manipulated the wine, and be like, oh, we're Carmen Air. Um, I mean, it's there. Uh, you definitely get like the the raspberry, not necessarily the strawberry, but you get the raspberry on the on the palate. 
a um, little bit of cranberry, uh, a touch of roasted smoke, roasted coffee um, also, a um, touch of caramel, a touch of vanilla. Uh, the, the fresh earth isn't as present on the palate. There's, a, there's a, a slight sweetness to it. Um, I, I portrayed it to probably some oak or oak treatment of some sort, whether it's, you know, new oak or oak staves or other oak treatments that, that you can do. Knowing the price point, we're not talking new French oak here. But, I mean, for the price point, for $11, it's really drinkable. Like, I know I kind of walked in with a somewhat preconceived notion that, you know, of what I should taste, but I am tasting it. Um, and for $11, it's probably of the $10 to $11 bottles, um, probably the favorite of that group at this point. Um, even if I took out the, um, took out the, the bell pepper type of thing is pretty good. You know, I just realized, I really hope that that flicker that I see on the chandelier from the LED lights isn't coming through because there's no flicker or anything else. I just wonder if it has something to do with the frequency of these lights and that and those lights I'm, I'm seeing it. I'd be really mad if it's coming through that bad on the, um, on the video. But when I did the test before, I never noticed anything when I had all the lights on. You never have too much light. Oh, yeah, you can. All right, wine number two. This is the Marquez uh, de Casa Con Concha uh, Carmenere 2015 from the uh, Peumo D.O. in Chile. This retails for $25. So it's the most expensive of the three. So let's check it out. A little indicator of the iPhone battery on here is red, so I suspect that it'll maybe get through this episode, and that's about it. If I'm lucky, it'll get through the next episode. I'm really lucky we get through all the you know this and the other two. Got some funk in this, like. Remember I talked about reductive winemaking a few episodes ago and you get that sulfurous, somewhat rotten egg smell. I mean, I kind of get that. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna move on to wine number three. Um, Cause either it's just too much sulfur in there or what or not or whatnot, but I'm gonna let it try to blow off in here instead of trying to just aerate it by the, okay, so let's just go to the next one. This is another one where, um, granted I did all these in the same sitting, so this um, Cidier or Cidier, um Ribetas Grand Reserva, I don't know what to call the winery, uh, but got Carmen Air, 2015, also from the Peumo, Peumo uh, Dio in Chile. Uh, this is suggested retail price is Seventeen dollars. Get a look really good. Airflow through that. It could just be a bad bottle of the other one. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna kinda let that air out a little bit more and revisit it. Because it was pretty, pretty substantial of the of the uh, SO2 or the H2S, I guess. Okay, well, it's not in this wine. 
So this one, I straight up get like some caramel. Um, I mean, it smells kind of good. Like chocolate covered caramel. A um, little bit of cherry. A little bit of vanilla. <clears throat> Not really any pyrazine, no pepper I can I can smell. Yeah. Touch of wood, touch of cedar box. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Whoops. Um, it's got all that on the palate. It's also got that kind of a little bitterness, some of that chemical I sometimes get. And, and remember, what I call chemical, somebody else might call something else. I'm not necessarily saying there's a chemical flavor aroma to it, but there's something that reminds me of chemical. I don't know. I can't put pinpoint it. Um, sometimes I call it coffee. Sometimes I call it bug spray. Sometimes I call it chemical. Sometimes I call it fake. Sometimes I call it other things, but it's there a little bit. Oh, look at that. The um, battery indicator now is yellow. Oh, now it's red. Yeah, I don't think it's going to survive very much longer. Um, it's good. Honestly, I, I kind of like this one better. Um, it's got a bit of that caramel and all that. It's a pleasant wine. It's good, but I would never peg this as Carbonara. I would think this is either a Malbec or a Cab, especially if I know it's from South America. Malbec, Cab, Merlot, one of those three. It's good, though. It's just, it's kind of like that Syrah from a couple episodes ago where I was like, I know it's Syrah, but it doesn't really taste like Syrah, but I like the wine. So, yeah. All right, let's go back to the Marquez de Casa Concha. Yeah, it, it kind of... It smells like the ocean and sand and I don't know. I mean, it, it smells like, it smells like the ocean, like the fish smell in the ocean. Like, you know, It's a bad bottle, unfortunately. Um, so I can't give you an honest review of it. Um, I mean, I'll... It's a bad bottle. They, they, they put way too much SO2 in it or, or, or the chemical reactions gave it way too much H2S. But it, it yeah, no, it's not good. Unfortunately, hey, if every once in a while I get bad bottles of wine. So nothing, not saying anything about the winery or the winemaker or anything like that. It happens. I'm surprised I don't get more corked bottles, but um, I did have some cork. I did have some corked wines over the past couple weeks, so <clears throat> it happens. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, <clears throat> as always, you can click the links above to friend me up. Click the link over there to send me some ducats my way. It'd be uh, really helpful, especially this, right, it, you know, what's going on with my personal life. Um, and then uh, links below to the wineries. Uh, and that's going to do it. I want to thank everyone for coming by, and we'll see everyone again next time.